Sp sprinkle him. Turns out he's a lot slower than I thought. Go on, Jet. Get him. We go. Got About him. time. Took you long enough. That was decently quick. Thank you D very no, much. No, it took you long enough, dude. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Took you long enough. Nah. -uh. Yeah. G'day. I'm Ash, and welcome yourselves back to War Thunder. It's been a little while since we actually did a gameplay video. In fact. It being in and out of hospital and taking a couple of days off, I've played nothing for the last couple of days but purely Minecraft. And I've been having an utter ball with that. There's been a heap of other games I've been playing too, but primarily I've just been relaxing and resting up as per the doctor's orders. If you don't know, follow me on Twitter because that's where you get updates and uh, I post shit posts there as well. Anyway, today I'm flying out with the legendary Jetstorm. For those of you who do not know Jetstorm, he's a long-time viewer and has recently started up his own live streams. So I highly recommend that you go check him out. I'll leave a link to him in the description. That way you can go say hello when he is live. Uh, and I just decided to join him. I hadn't played War Thunder in about two weeks and I really needed something to sort of have a fiddle with. Anyway, we've climbed up to about 3,000, 4,000 meters here and we've spotted a 109. So my first priority is to make sure that nothing is at our altitude, that way we can easily get down towards those enemy aircraft. Problem being is this map is really funky. And us being really maneuverable zeros, this is the A6M5, uh, the premium one, the 4.7 uh, aircraft, it's utterly fantastic. Two 7.7 uh, machine guns and two 20mm cannons. Cannons have only 250 rounds, but you've got 1400 rounds of MG, so it's you know, perfectly balanced. Anyway, we're on this 109 G2 Trops 6. We're going to absolutely demolish him here. A couple of bursts straight down his schnoz. And there we go. We've got the first kill of the match. There's another Spitfire over that direction. We're probably going to head towards him. But I love this aircraft so much. In fact, it's been the primary reason for, I guess, me unlocking most of the Japanese tech tree. It's surprising how effective this rank 4 premium is at unlocking rank 6 and 7 jets. And despite its shortcomings, it's a rather versatile aircraft, although the engine power is probably the weakest thing of the Zero, and a whole heap of other things, you really can't take a hit in this vehicle at all. It will just tear it shreds. One single bullet will render this vehicle immobile and basically useless. But anyway, there's a Spitfire that spotted us. He's coming directly up from us. Now, he was chasing a B-25. Unfortunate for him, he just put a couple of shots this way. I'm going to pull him up for my squad mate here. I'm going to loop back over and we're just going to make sure that uh, he actually gets a hit. Now, Jetstorm did get a hit there. Spitfire is realising that he's completely buggered everything up. I'm going to come over here and just give him a quick tap of the 7.7s. And there we go, we've got a critical hit. Jetstorm comes in, tries for another pass. We're going to roll over again. This time we're going to try and take the kill. Because there is a friendly P-38 inbound. It's probably going to nip the kill. There we go. Jetstorm finally got the kill, and I've got a kill assist. But it's not all over just yet. There's an A21A in the area, so we're going to fly that direction. And again, checking the six is highly, highly underrated, considering that this is a zero. Now, I will say I don't necessarily cover Japanese or American vehicles too often. I don't really find them to be too appealing, but I will make it a special exception for this particular thing, why it's just super good. Now that A21 down there, that Swedish attacker or fighter, or whatever you want to call it, is utterly broken. Uh, it should be attacking us and should be able to wipe us out, but he does an absolute numpty and goes completely vertical when he has no speed or maneuverability. Jetstorm comes and cleans him up and I get teamwork times two. It's not all over Red Rover yet, because there are a couple of Spitfires, a Bromensky, I think a couple of other things as well. Keep in mind that we are basically on the deck right now. Indicated airspeed is 500, altitude is about 500. So we're literally on the deck, and unfortunately the Paraminsky and the Spitfire is up above us. Friendly P-47 is bugging out, he won't last too much longer. And the friendly aircraft up there, which is surrounded by those two aircraft, is really struggling, the XP-55. Obviously, XP-55 is a fantastic vehicle, but against two very mobile targets, it's not going to be a good match for him. Considering that we are a few kilometers away, there is not much we can do about this fella. That being said, we're just going to keep our speed up. Hopefully we can get there in time. If not, well, this is going to turn into an absolute furball. And that's exactly what it's about to uh, undertake. 
to look behind me, here comes the rest of the team. A C205, an A21A, and an LA5. Alright, break for the... Um, five. We're in the thick of it now, boy. Yep, it's a furball. Three's a crowd, it's a party. All the sayings. Alright, I critted the Spitfire. I'm on the 205, watch out, Paul. Yep. Alright. Oh, behind me. Shit. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Clear six. Right. I'm on the Swedish thing. Finish Don't thing. Even... Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, finish thing. Don't even. LA5, five, watch out. Ooh, God, how am I getting this lucky? Got a hit on the uh, Promiski, is going to change targets for the LA5. Uh, oh, behind you. Crap, didn't even see him coming. It's alright, it's alright. It's good. We good. As Are long we as alone? we can take out. You need to take out that Promiski, dude. Yeah, he's. um... He's critted, so he's not going to be very maneuverable. Well, I might come and clean up. Yeah, no problem. Good one. Right, there's one left. Where'd he go? He's behind There it is, one and nine. To... Oh, this is going to be tough. Excuse and pulling him up. He's, he's pulling for you. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Jet. No. Oh. Come on, buddy. Oh. He mixed my fuel tank. God damn it. Take place, but so far. I thought I dodged, but... Well, it looks like Ash is going to have to get the ace then. So if you didn't catch that fur wall, I got four kills. The only survivor of this engagement was the 109 and myself. Now I'm trying to sort of loosen up a little bit here and just figure out what is happening. And I really want to go back to base just to ensure that my survival... Uh, however, that friendly P-38 is probably going to get absolutely knocked out. There is a P-63 up there as well. He's probably going to take out one of the aircraft. Nope, P-38 just got, got done by another Swedish aircraft. And we have a heap more aircraft. Now it's a 1v3. I should have turned around when I had the chance and have run away, but that's okay. We have a trick up our sleeve. This is a zero. And a zero, as you know, is particularly maneuverable. Now, keeping an eye out on where those enemy aircraft that are coming in, we're instantly going to turn around under this 109 that's coming in because the other aircraft are coming in on our six as we turn around. All right, we dodge the LA-5 and again, we need to head in towards <laughs> the base because the more turn fighting we have to do, the more energy we lose, the lower speed we will be, and obviously these guys will then have the advantage. Now, A21 is being a bit of a silly bugger. Obviously, I wasn't really paying attention to where I was going. LA5 pulls under, and now I've got the 109 to deal with. So we're going to roll over, avoid his guns as much as possible, doing a very dangerous turn here, when we realise the LA5 is also doing a bit of a turn manoeuvre. So we're going to spray and pray his direction. We're at the edge of his left wing off. He's got a hole on his left wing right there, and we're just going to spray and pray, and uh, we really should be turning about now, because, yep, as I predicted, there are aircraft absolutely everywhere. That is our ace. Unfortunately, however... I do feel that I could have actually killed that 109 in the past if I had to push myself a little bit. Now that the LA-5 is out of the equation, there is only two aircraft remaining, and that A-21 is all the way over engaging our other friendly six kilometers that direction. We'll see more of him in a second, but boy, what a furball. Unfortunately, the Zero's engine power is not necessarily powerful enough to, well, chase a BF-109 across a map. He's got better engine performance, better climb rates, although my power to weight ratio is a bit higher, I probably could outclimb him. His engine is far superior, he's going to outrun me in the long run. J21 is now coming this direction, hopefully he doesn't nick us, and our troubles are only just beginning. Ash being the person who has five kills, I'm getting a bit greedy. As you can see, I was risking myself there, and we're going to do the same. 109 coming back in, and the A21 just doing boom and zoom. I don't necessarily have a lot of ammunition for my cannons. In fact, I've got four rounds left. 109's passing overhead. Let's see if we can get a cheeky bead on him. We're not going to be able to, so we're going to turn around again. I've only got 800 rounds of 7.7. The 109 above and the A21 coming in for a pass it was understandably nervous when, obviously, in comes the friendly. Thank you, P63. You've taken out the 109, and now there's only one vehicle to go engage. This calls for victory smoke, or does it? Because the friendly P-63 has turned basically on his hind heels and is now running away from the A-21A, who is now unfortunately going head-on with me. And of course, 
he has more guns than me. Why did I commit to that? I lose the right hand side of my wingtip, making this aircraft basically, as I said, paper mache earlier in the video. With the tip of my right wing completely gone, the friendly P-63 that is crippled and damaged, there's only another P-63 at the other airbase who has just taken off. So unfortunately, that P-63 is going to play onto the ground in front of us. And we now have to deal with an A-21 who has basically got nothing wrong with him and has infinite amount of ammunition and just seems to be, you know, outdoing everyone. Here's that P-63. He's trying to pull the A-21 back this direction and bless him for that, but... There's no hope here. I'm out of cannons. I'm out of machine guns. I'll be lucky if I can do a couple of maneuvers just to get away from this A21 to fly 30 and a half kilometers back to base. He's already preparing for that one, so we're just going to follow him in. And, well, it's, when it's up to his regard, really. He can basically roll over, do anything he wants, boom and zoom us. What we have here, essentially, is a bit of a problem. Without the wingtip, we're less maneuverable. The engine power is starting to struggle a bit, and as you can see, I really cannot turn right. I could turn left just okay, but he has every single advantage, and there is basically no point continuing. Fortunately, I do have one trick up my sleeve. We're going to turn into him, that way he can't necessarily get a bead on us, although he is directly on our rear. It's going to be a bit of a problem. As you can see, the Zero is a bit lackluster, and as much as I'm a skilled pilot, and I have been playing War Thunder for a very, very long time. There's not much I can do when you have a broken wingtip. I've landed aircraft before with broken wingtips. You can see plenty of videos like that on the channel. Unfortunately, I'm all out of energy. He's still behind me. I'm now spinning a little bit uncontrollably, and that's when you get the final nail in the coffin. We're still up. We're still up. We're still up. Come on. Come on. Man. Hey, that was a good try. Yes, it, it certainly was a good try. And we did eventually win this one. However, the friendly P-63 with bombs managed to actually kill that A-21. But anyway, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you go check out Jetstorm on Twitch in the link in the description. Also, I might also do a little bit of streaming this week. So go check myself out there. Self-plug all the way. All right. Well, I'll have to catch you in another video soon. Uh, stay tuned. We've got some exciting things coming. Anyway, my name is Ash, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.